This is Larry Lessig, and as hard as it is for me to believe, Creative Commons is 20. On January 15, 2001, the same day that Wikipedia was launched to the world, we founded a nonprofit committed to expanding the public domain and inspired by an extraordinary online public domain publisher, Eric Eldred. But when we launched Creative Commons, we had no clue what the organization would become. So we spent the next 18 months speaking to artists and scientists and academics and even some lawyers, asking them what could we build that might inspire millions to help grow a public domain? Now, that was a really weird question back then, because back then we were in the middle of what people call the copyright wars, wars between two extremes that spoke as if they didn't even hear each other. On the one extreme, the all rights reserved extreme, People spoke as if every single use of creative work required permission up front. And at the other extreme, the no rights respected extreme, people spoke as if copyright were theft and we should banish it from every corner of the internet. We came from neither extreme. Instead, we believed that copyright was an essential part to any creative economy, but that artists needed a simpler way to say, these are the freedoms that run with my creative work. We built that simpler way with an idea that we stole from the Free Software Foundation, or now Richard Stallman's going to get angry because you can't steal an idea, he'll tell us. So yes, that's right. With an idea that was inspired by the Free Software Foundation, we built an infrastructure of freedom that at the end of 2002, we launched with a suite of licenses that gave creators and scientists and academics the ability to say, here are the freedoms that I want to run with my creative work. And at the end of 2022, we will launch an extraordinary celebration of 20 years of this infrastructure of freedom. When I think back to what I thought then, when we launched this movement 20 years ago, I remember thinking it's going to be easy. Such an obvious idea, so simple and so true. But when I think back now on what we accomplished then, it is astonishing to me that we actually succeeded. In this small but important corner of the world, we succeeded in changing the world. And then when I think that, I think that if we can do it in the small but important corners of the world, then maybe in other places too. Maybe this is an example, an inspiration of what people can do when they work together, sharing and building upon each other's ideas. I am so endlessly grateful to the thousands who have built this movement that has now touched millions across the world. And I'm especially grateful to those who continue to press this movement now. We have done something important. You have done something important. And now it's time to celebrate what we've accomplished and to dream even bigger for the next 20 years to come. Thank you so much. You can't know, you can't know how much this has meant to me. Thank you.